confirm to this committee and to Kenyans that uh, I have also received well over close to 300 uh, such messages from uh, those interns, the, the young Kenyans who have gone through that uh, program, which was initiated, I believe, with the very best of intentions. But unfortunately, uh, I think the implementation has faced some challenges because young Kenyans have gone through, have been taken through the, the program, posted into ministries, but um, after one year, they find themselves back on the streets. Indeed, it is a very challenging thing. The chairman, I, my personal view about this uh, program of internship, before I come to say what I, what I, think, what I, what I think should be done, is that it should be changed to not just a public service commission internship program. It should actually be a Kenya national, national internship program where both government and the private sector become active players. I believe it would have been much better if um, the program had, uh, been, had involved the private sector because the skills that these young Kenyans uh, have are varied. They're not necessarily made, they're not necessarily trained to go and work in the public service. Because uh, sometimes you may find a university graduate uh, that uh, has been trained in uh, agriculture, for instance, being taken to the Ministry of ICT. They will just be there for those 12 months and the, st the stipends that they are given. After two months, those, those kids have, have really gained very little in terms of the field that they were trained in by way of experience. So, Mr. Chairman, my view is that uh, this program should be worked, re-rooked, re so that the people, the young Kenyans that are taken into it, are taken in, in the pro including the private sector, where indeed the private sector would be encouraged. Either government of Kenya, because parliament gave the resources to the Public Service Commission to employ those, uh, or to engage those interns. But if we expanded it, it means that either the government of Kenya would have young Kenyan interns being taken to various places in industry, both in the public sector and in the private sector, where their skills would be much more relevant and would be much more useful. And thereafter, um, either, either it, can, it can be agreed that government will pay for their, they pay, continue paying their stipends, or in the alternative, those private sector players to whom uh, the interns would be attached would be given some incentives, and indeed, perhaps if we did that, we could find that we could actually attract more Kenyans, Kenyan youth in the internship program than the current uh, numbers that we take today. Moving forward, um, Mr. Chairman, I think uh, it is not right, it's not right for, to assume that governments can, can employ every, every Kenyan that has gone through school. But on the other hand, government has a responsibility. We all have a responsibility in leadership to ensure that we grow the economy of this country so as to be able to, to attract as many of our young, talented Kenyans into the, into the job uh, market. Therefore, Mr. Chairman, this is a program that I intend to, if I find favor, as Mr. Chairman, you have uh, I've had you say from time to time, you will find favor with this committee and the House and get confirmed into this position through appointment. Um, it is something that we will need to sit with the Public Service Commission because uh, as you would appreciate, the role of the ministry is to facilitate. And uh, you know, here, Mr. Chairman, it's good for me to point out that public service spans across every arm, so that indeed, Mr. Chairman, uh, even the policeman on the, on the road is in the public service. 
the doctors and the health personnel are also doing public service. So it's a ministry that I find uh, quite interesting. Uh, it permeates every sector of the public service.